is Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 4 of season 2 of Love Live Nishikasaki School Idol Club. So, let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. That is a little loud in my ear. No. I hope so. Yeah, but who should you make a unit with? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's right, though. But that's why those two work so well together. Just a natural. That's the one thing that you gotta love about I. She's so caring of others and wants to take care of others, and it's so freaking adorable. I can't. Yeah, 
it's fine. You would think a lot of people would also want to flock around Cutting as well, because she has a really nice personality. <laughs> mm hmm I mean, of course she's going to say yes, because she'll take the challenge on. Mm-hmm. They're going to run into each other. Yep. And it seems like you want to tell an eye.
No, you're not imagining it. She's definitely feeling down. But what if she's not ready to tell you, though? I mean, dang, we just going right to the point. With this, you can't help her. You don't know what you want to do. That too. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's not the answer she wants, though. That's definitely not the answer she wants. Oh. That's so messed up. My heart. You did all that you could. You can't blame yourself for that. Mm-hmm.
But you are. You're just avoiding it. But we know this beautiful friendship ends up becoming a unit because, I mean, come on now. It's obvious. He's so fucking cute, oh my god. See, they just kind of remind me of one unit, and I don't master of two. Well, really, one. Uh, well, yeah, they're both my favorite characters that I really. Really want to be together, but freaking Desute doesn't want that to happen. So one day it's gonna happen, and technically then they're gonna make oh, they're gonna make the other unit that I want together, featuring my best girl in it. But you know, good things come to those who wait. It's a nice song, though. Definitely kind of gave me, like, a little bit of K-pop vibes. Slash, um... What was the name of that group from, uh... Freaking Sunshine. With the two sisters. I'm blanking. Oh, my God. Aww.
she turned it over. Really now? <laughs> I think that's also the one other thing I like about cutting. Because, like, cutting is my... If Kota is number one, I is, like, number two-esque because I still love I so freaking much. Cutting is like number three. And, and Cotty is one of those characters that she is very interesting because I remember having this conversation with one of my um, subscribers slash friends one day. We were talking about every single girl in Love Live and how sometimes some of the girls can be like a generic copy of certain other girls and you're like, oh, you can definitely see that. And with Cotting, she seems very different from majority of the girls. She does still give me a lot of, like, Ellie vibes and, um, Kanon vibes, I believe, a little bit. But not as much, like, not 100%. Oh, excuse me, sorry. Literally woke up from a nap, so. <laughs> but yeah, I think she's really sweet, but, like, at the same time... Depending on what she wants, she's either very shy or timid, or she just full on goes for it. And the fact that, you know, I and her relationship and dynamic work so well, and they're able to create a group like this, I, I love it. I mean, like, like I said last week with Quartz, this group was a group that I knew immediately they were going to work together because their personalities are very similar. They're kind of opposites attract in a way. And so it just works with them. Let's see that bad bitch vibe. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, she pretty! Excuse me? So, of course, yes, those two will be, those three will be next. Okay, so, but then it makes me wonder. All right, homegirl sister. Our other girl who's a part of the student council president with what's-her-face. What, is she going to then be in a unit with Mia and Lanju? Because they're the only other two left in this group. Essentially, quote-unquote. I, I don't really know because, like, I, w with this series and, and with the fact that I haven't played in the game in a while, like, I really don't know. Um... But yeah, okay, we about to meet her sister. Technically, we just met her. I want to know a little bit more about her. Was she featured in the game as, like, um, more of what's her face's backstory? There's still a lot of unanswered questions with her because I think even when she got introduced and added into the Nijigasaki um, Club group, she was still a character shrouded in a lot of mystery. Where we all, like, her, Mia, and Lanju, all three of those characters were characters that were surrounded in a lot of freaking misery, uh, mystery, 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 that we really didn't know anything about them. And so what I'm hoping is, as someone who stopped playing the game, sort of at, like, the first anniversary, uh, really almost, yeah, at the start of the first anniversary, um, I kind of hope and pray that they're able to give these three characters that, like, necessity of like saying okay even though you ha you stop playing the game here's everything you need to know about character a character b character c because sometimes in the end you have to go back and do a little bit of research about these characters because of the fact is did i think that they were going to show a character from eyes past in today's episode 
honestly no way in hell I really didn't think that but I'm surprised I'm really happy that they did because with some of these characters you're hoping to see like some person or someone from their past and being like oh okay well remember how you were like this when when you were a kid this is kind of now one of the reasons or stepping stones quote unquote of you becoming an idol now hence for I in a way and I'm glad that you know her quote unquote sister was able to find what she wants to do for almost like for the rest of her life in a way thanks to I and both cutting so I thought this was a really interesting episode and I love the fact that you know it continued more on their relationship I'm ready to kind of now hear more songs from this unit because of course that unit is just too freaking good. They're like my, my personal favorite unit out of all the units for the Nijigasaki girls. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, you know, sorry. Because I, I tried to, I listened to the other songs of the other girls. And it just, the other girls just didn't hit as those two. And it just, it works. But then, you know, when it's solo, it, it is still Kotaha, I, Kadin. And then... Rena, Emma, and then, you know, we would have to go from there, but maybe one day we'll do that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of season two of Love Live, Nichiosaki School Idol Love. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Marshall Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Saturday for episode five. Bye, guys.